hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lynn and welcome back to my BFG journey I know it's pretty much been about maybe two and a half months since I've been on here um, I do have some additional footage that I do plan to um, upload on here but I kind of just wanted to tell you guys where I'm at here as of today um, today is July the 1st by the way when I'm recording this video and my current weight is 193.2 pounds which means since I last recorded my weight pretty much about two months ago I have been at a stall I was at 192.2 pounds then but as you can see I am at a stall and a one pound gain um, I think this is the first, this actually is the first stall I've had in my BFG journey where I've had a stall for over a couple, maybe two weeks. Um, this is pretty much two and a half months. So I am officially at a stall is what my um, doctor's office has told me. And pretty much what I found out to be the problem is I needed to increase my water intake. I had my surgery back for you all that are new to my channel just watching this video my surgery date was september the 7th of 2018 with dr william johnson he's in johns creek georgia and at that point in time my weight day of surgery was 258 pounds my highest ever recorded weight back in i believe november of 2017 was 266 pounds so I have lost some weight, but I'm kind of not where I want to be. Um, I am, um, so I'll just go ahead and give you all my clothing size really quick. I am finally a size 12. I was in a size 14 for several months. Um, my search sizes is either a medium or a large, mostly a large, but some mediums I can't fit. Um, later on in this video, I'm going to update, um, I did a clothing haul where I um, bought several items because I had lost weight and I couldn't fit any of my other clothing so I'm gonna insert some um, videos of that in just a few minutes but just going back to my weight and my food intake really quickly I am NOT getting in the recommended 60 ounces of water I believe it's 60 or 65 ounces of water daily um, mostly I get in about 40 uh, because I wanted to try to increase my food intake because my surgeon's office wanted to me to be at I think 1200 calories on non exercise days and 1500 calories on exercise days um, and I've actually finally been keeping up with my food intake um, and meeting those goals so, and I'm really good with my protein so my protein pretty much now is about 80 to 90 grams of protein each day which is where they would like for me to be and I mainly get that through um, the the shakes the um, what is those those protein 30 gram shakes the uh, premier protein shakes um, and then I'll eat maybe salmon or some high protein type of food throughout the day to help me get into that and just even with like yogurt and different things um, I will also do a what I'm eating now that I am what eight months no September so I'm actually eight months sorry I had to count on my fingers um, eight months post-op I'll be nine months post-op um, on July in July the 12th I believe yeah you guys look um, so just to get back on with my um, food intake I am doing well with that but the water at first it was a little bit backwards where I was able to get in maybe when I was about five months post-op I was able to get in my water intake but I wasn't getting in the food and so now that I have been able to get in my food intake I'm not able to get in the water because of course I have a small stomach now and I just kind of it's like sometimes I am just forcing myself to pretty much get in the water um, I didn't have a problem with drinking the water beforehand but now the taste of water is just not good to me so I typically have to end up drinking like some crystal light um, flavored drink in my water or I may do a non-carbonated um, no sugar like soda um, not an actual soda but actually I got a 
let me show you what I'm talking about just one second so actually the sparkling water that's what I use to kind of help get in my intake and this is actually 17 ounces so with the sparkling water I am able to get in some of my water so I would pretty much use the sparkling water um, I like the grape um, and the black cherry flavors the most sometimes I try the strawberry lemonade flavor but I like the other two the most and then I try to drink water with maybe lemon in it or a crystal like just to try to help get in my water most days I get in at least 40 ounces of water I push myself to try to get those 40 ounces in but just lately over the past month I'll say I haven't been getting in that full 60 or 65 ounces of water that um that is required that that's just honestly speaking um and that's probably another reason why I have not been able to lose weight and why I'm just holding but I am going to try to force myself and push myself even more to get in my water and to just maintain my protein um, intake so I can, you know, start back on this weight loss journey and get off this stall that I've been on. I do still exercise, um, and but I don't do as much cardio as I did before. Um, I do concentrate more on strength training because I need to you know tone a couple things and I do have a lot of um I don't have a lot but I do have fat you know underneath the jiggle underneath there um so but it's not bad um uh, but it's bad enough for me to see it <laughs> so I do have to work on that and definitely work on my stomach as far as making sure it's a little bit more toned and my inner thighs. Those are my three areas that I'm actually focused on as far as toning. Um, I do still do cardio, but it's mainly 30 minutes of just running on the treadmill or brisk walk or even on the elliptical. I may alternate to where I do 10 minutes on the elliptical and then another 20 minutes of brisk walking and um, running. That's what I do for my cardio while I'm at the gym, but I also, while I'm at work, I walk like the parking lot, so I do some walking to get in just some extra exercise there. And the other pretty much 30 to 45 minutes of my exercise routine, I am doing strength training on my arms, on my legs, on my stomach, just trying to work on those main um, core areas. So with all that being said, that's pretty much my update as far as where I am at currently. I didn't want to make this video too long because I wanted to upload my um, clothing haul of what I did so you can kind of see some of the outfits that I bought and kind of where I'm at um, with clothes. So just stay tuned for the next clip. So here's going to be my first outfit. I'm just recording this on my iPhone really quickly. So the top is a size large and I believe I got this top from Ross and the skirt is a medium and I got this skirt from Burlington. It's just a regular pull-up skirt and it just has a little bit of lace detail at the bottom down here. So this is the outfit and I'm so happy to be continuing losing weight and to be able to fit in a medium. So let me go on to the next outfit. Right, so this is my next outfit. This shirt here is a medium. No, I'm sorry. The shirt is a large. Just a regular v-neck um, v neck t shirt. Sorry, I can't show you the top part. And the skirt is a medium again, large top, medium skirt. Happy I can fit into it. And then I have some more items to try on in that bag right there because, yes, I went shopping again. Apparently, as you lose weight, a lot of your clothes get too big and you've got more stuff to do. So I'm going to probably try those on and then I'll show you those in the next clip right, as well. Guys, here's the next outfit. This outfit I got from Ross. This skirt was the only one left of its kind and it's a size large but I definitely could have gotten a size medium and it was only $10. The top is a large as well and I think it looks really cute together. Definitely just needs to be pressed out some but that's pretty much it for this outfit. Okay this next outfit is from Ross as well. It is a just a blouse like a wear to work type shirt. Um, just a blouse and some high waisted um, pants and I got them jacked all the way up to try to hold in the fat but um, this is just a side view of that outfit I think it looks really cute and I paid hmm I think the pants were
were about in between 10 to 15 dollars and the top was definitely about 12 dollars so you got a whole outfit for under 25 dollars so check out Ross they do have some cute um items to wear as you're um going on this weight loss journey as well so let's get on to the next outfit okay, so this dress right here I got from actually Walmart it is a size large and I got it on sale for 12 bucks it's just a simple summertime dress um, this is the side, but it's really cute. Okay, guys, so it is the next day. Um, excuse the scarf. I was laying down my edges as I'm getting ready for work, but I wanted to show you the next outfit really quickly. It's just a cutout shirt. I'll try to move over to show it. Um, cut out sleeve, I'm sorry, shirt that I got from Ross. Um, it is a size medium and I'm glad I can fit it. Um, and just some um, large, these pants are actually a 14. They're kind of big, but I wanted to actually, you know, try to wear all of my size 14 clothes while I can still fit them somewhat. And that is pretty much it for today.